take a live look now over Ann Arbor on this beautiful fall day. It's unseasonably warm, which for me is good news, but I know some people are kind of looking forward to, you know, snowboarding, skiing, all the fun winter things you can do. So we'll get there, but uh, it is definitely a stretch of weather that uh, we don't typically see. We see a couple days here and there, but such a string of days. Yeah, not typical. Yeah, it's, it's definitely unusual. It's been yep. great, you know, blowing the leaves and, and doing it in 70 degree weather, but right. all good things must come to an end, I suppose. I guess so. And <laughs> just remember, you're going to have Mother Nature blowing those leaves tomorrow for you regardless. So you might want to bag Ooh. them instead of put them at the curb. Just a little heads up. We're going to be dealing with some strong winds. Today it's breezy, but it is warm. So we're warm into the weekend. Today and tomorrow, temperature is well above average. About mid 50 is what we typically see. We're closer to 70 or above today and tomorrow. We increase our rain chances tomorrow afternoon and evening along with the winds. Again, we're looking at winds gusting 40 miles per hour or higher at times. 68 degrees in Detroit, 65 still stealing some sunshine into the early afternoon for you in Ann Arbor. Meanwhile, the clouds are winning out in Pontiac, 64 degrees for you. It is 70 up in Port Sanilac, so very nice start to the afternoon. Looking at a little more cloud cover coming in for the afternoon. You notice so all of the advisories, these are wind advisories starting in Jackson westward. The National Weather Service for us here in Metro Detroit hasn't issued it yet. We'll let you know, of course, when and if that changes. Here's the area of low pressure we'll be watching. Low pressure to the west of us, high pressure to the east kind of squeezes things together, and we'll see what we call an increased pressure grading as we go through the next 24 hours. So that's why one reason why our winds will be increasing and, of course, that stronger area of low pressure. Out ahead of the cold front, temperatures will hit about 80 in St. Louis, mid 70s Cincinnati, so really a warm day for the eastern half of the United States. Behind the front, a lot of 40s and 50s. So fronts do make a difference, so to speak, this time of the year, those cold fronts. The impact for us, not all that great behind it. We'll talk about it. But winds today, these are gusts. Gusts about 25 today, but again, could be exceeding 40 during the afternoon and evening tomorrow, especially after about 2 o'clock and then carrying us into the evening. Hour by hour forecast shows tomorrow morning. You can see the rain very close by to the west, certainly to the north. We could get late morning, early afternoon, maybe one or two of these scattered showers. But the main batch, I think, will hold off until after about 2 or 3 o'clock. We see the line coming through could get not only a gusty shower, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm with that cold front coming through. This is 930 in the evening, so we start to see things settling down behind it. And then Sunday, we're back to, again, dry weather. So today's highs between 69 and 73. That is a warm day. 71 tomorrow. We fall back one hour this weekend as daylight saving time ends. Temperature still in the 60s a good part of next week. A little cooler 